President Trump wants American astronauts back, going back to the moon, even if to use it as a stepping stone for missions to Mars. Roll tape. Today, the same spirit beckons us to begin new journeys of exploration and discovery, to lift our eyes all the way up to the heavens and once again imagine the possibilities waiting in those big, beautiful stars if we dare to dream big. Well, here's a man who dared to dream. His name is Harrison Schmidt. He's the last man to set foot on the moon, Apollo 17 astronaut. Welcome to the show, Harrison. It's great to have you with us. Well, it's great to be with you, Stuart. My first question when I saw the president say that was, why don't we use robots? <laughs> What's your answer? Well, we've never used them before, and uh, uh, all exploration really needs the human presence for the experience of human mind, the training of human minds, and the ability to deal with the unexpected. But the president's initiative and the vice president's initiative as well are extremely important. Maybe, uh, I think, almost certainly historic. Why the, are we going back to the moon? Well, I, from my perspective, the uh, operational imperative is to learn how to work and minimize risk in deep space. We've been there before. It's been a long time, and we need another generation to learn how to do that. In fact, several generations. It would be a staging post then, perhaps. Um, well, it, it, it is. It has the resources that will help us uh, go on into the uh, solar system to on to Mars. It also has energy resources that will be valuable, valuable here on Earth. Uh, so uh, I, I'm looking forward to the implementation of this initiative. Scientifically, it's going to be very important. The moon's telling us about the early history of the Earth. And the far side of the moon, observatories on the far side of the moon can tell us about the early history of the universe. Okay. And uh, the, maybe most importantly, Stuart, is the geopolitical imperative for the United States, for America, uh, to be present on the frontier of space. If we're going to keep liberty and constitutional principles alive here on Earth, as well as at that frontier, then we have to be there. Elon Musk, Jeff Bezos, they've got private enterprise space operations of their own. Do you think there's a role for private enterprise in putting astronauts back on the moon? I, I, I'm not quite so sure about uh, astronauts, but I think there's a tremendous role uh, for uh, uh, companies like you just mentioned uh, to uh, play a part in the uh, access to of lunar resources. Uh, I, I don't think the government needs to do that. I think in cooperation with the private sector, the private sector, private investors uh, can make that happen. I've written a book on the subject called Return to the Moon, and I still think that that's a very important part of the private uh, investor future. Would you go back if you could? Oh, I'd love to go back. My wife, of course, would like to go with me, and uh, I'm sure a lot of other people would, too. We're going to have settlements on the moon, Stuart, and it's going to be an exciting time in the next uh, several decades. How far away are we from a, a, another American astronaut setting foot on the moon? Well, if, if we can put together a, a management environment like we had for Apollo, then I think we are only a, a decade away, if less. Okay. Probably less than that, as a matter of fact, because we're much stronger, we have a much stronger technological okay. base to do so. Harrison.